Good morning students. Today we are going to start our new chapter that is e-commerce, blogging and podcast. The number of chapter is chapter 10. Now e-commerce. First of all, in this chapter we are going to study about the e-commerce. E-commerce or electronic commerce is a way of doing business over the internet. With the help of internet, if we are doing any shopping, any business that is called e-commerce it refers to buy and selling of goods and services over transmitting funds or data through electronic medium companies create the website or to advertise their product and services customer can buy as per their choice by using credit card debit card net banking and cash on delivery etc for example we purchase something from flipkart amazon etc different type of e-commerce there are various mode of e-commerce are there explained below business to business b2b this type of e-commerce involves two companies buying and selling of products and services with each other through the internet for example a food manufacturing purchasing floor a retailer buying the end product for from the food manufacturer the business person wants the other thing from the other business person for the business purpose now business to consumer customer b2c this is the most common type of e-commerce activity in this mode a company establishes a website on the internet and sells products or services directly to consumers over the internet by providing information about them it this enables the customer to buy any product to or get information about the product from the site like a flipkart amazon Customer to business. A C2B electronic commerce involves customer selling products or services to the company. A customer posts this his project with a set budget online and the companies review their these products and place bids. Like I want to purchase something. Thus the consumer review the bid and select the company that meets his expectation to complete the project. Now, customer to customer. C2C involves e-commerce difference, uh, e-commerce between customer or individual. The individual customer posts his production products, uh, products and services for sale and another customer bid for them. For example, the sites such as olx.com, ebay, ubit.com. From olx, like you are want to sell something. You can sell it now advantages of e-commerce with e-commerce it's easy to locate choose buy and pay for a products smartly while sitting at your home e-commerce is available 24 by 7 customer can visit the store browse the product and place the order anytime this is the best part of the e-commerce e-commerce help in making the process of finding and accessing the product relatively easily easier by providing all variants of the product at one place it provides more choices and the ability to compare products from different brands on the basis of their pricing quality etc buying and selling through e-commerce is a time saving activity it saves your time you can sell something uh, purchase or sell something by sitting at home customer can also read and review and comments about the product before buying it online services provide also lure their customer by providing them with attractive deals and coupons like some discounts avail you can avail on the flipkart and amazon it is easier to start a business as the setup investment and the costs are relatively very low now the disadvantages it is not always secure to purchase thing online a customer should make a check about the integrity of the services providing before buying and making online payment since customer are to make payment through debit card and credit card so one what should do one sh uh, so one should remain extra valigent about the misuse or inf information and possibility of fraud should be more careful
while e-commerce make everything easy accessible but still a customized it to buy online because he cannot examine the product physically and cannot be sure about the quality of the product until they deliver to his door constant access to internet is required to shop online internet is required for the shopping now the e-shopping internet offers us convention um, convenient way to shop from our homes or offices for movies games stationery appeals healthcare home appliances electronic item etc we can buy or sell new as well as second hand goods the process of selling and buying products over the internet is called online shopping or e-commerce some of the popular port Tools of selling and buying goods are Amazon.com, eBay.com, Craigslist.com, Bonanza.com, and Flipkart.com. Now, what about uh, read some about uh, Amazon? Amazon is one of the on largest op online shopping website in the world. It is an American electronic commerce and cloud computing company. Founded in five July nineteen ninety four, with headquarter in Seattle, Washington, this site is popular known as for its wide collection of books. Although it has expanded its domain to other categories like electronic appliances, clothing, furniture, and many many more, it allows its user to avail payment through credit or debit card, net banking, e voucher, can swipe or delivery. or cash on delivery option to make use of this amazing e shopping tool log on to the official website of amazon that is amazon.in type the name of the item that you want to search in the search box at the top or you can search the item by selecting the appropriate category from the drop down list of the shop by category option present just below the amazon logo Select the desired product and check the details. That is the key feature and specification of that item. Once you are satisfied with the product specification, click on the Buy Now button. After clicking on the Buy Now, you need to create an Amazon account. Enter your valid name, mobile number, or email and password. Click on Create your Amazon account. After filling in your address detail under the delivery address section and click on the continue select the payment method and enter the required details click on continue review your order detail and click on place your order and pay enter a 3d secure code received by the bank in order to authorize your payment you will get a thank you page once the order is successfully placed or if you want you can do one more thing that cash on delivery option you have to select and after that you can get the product and you have to pay for it at your door step now modes of online payment the payment that are made electronically or financial transaction are called the electronic payment these payments are made for e shopping e ticketing e banking etc everything expect the physical delivery of the product can be done through the electronic means on the internet consumer can choose from several ways to pay for their e-commerce transactions the various way to keep of keeping payment online are first one is net banking with the help of net banking the net banking also known as online banking or e banking is a means of electronic payment that enables customer to conduct financial transaction through internet using the bank's website to make use of the bank web uh, online banking facility you first need to register with the bank website by entering the essential credentials and set up a username password combination this way you can verify yourself when carrying out an online transaction now you can also pay by the debit card a debit card is a plastic payment card that can be used in place of cash when making 
purchases when performing a transaction with debit card you are required to provide the card details to the online shopping services and the amount get deducted from the card holders bank account immediately usually debit card allow to trans for transferring instant withdrawal or cash or acting as a atm card now the credit card a credit card allow you to borrow money from your bank to make purchases when a customer makes a payment by credit card the concerned bank pays on behalf of the customer a lot of grace of of 25 to 30 days to the customer to pay the credit card bill if you do not pay it back in the period you will have to pay some interest now the smart card a smart card rem re resembles of the credit card in size and shape but it processes a financial transaction in a completely different manner it can be of two types debit or credit the cash from the user's bank account is transferred to the smart card using a smart card where the user can do any type of online transaction it can also be used to store customers information in the in an encrypted form thereby making the, it more secure visa card is popular example of the smart card now digital middleman a digital middleman refer to a company that gather information about all the companies that provide the similar type of products like car home appliances computer hardware etc or services like travel and tourism home hotel stay and display the collected information about the pro their product on its own website a middleman facilitate interactions between the parties of for each other transactions buying selling typically for a commission commission or fees electronic wallet what is electronic wallet electronic wallet or e wallet allow the user to make online transaction through a computer or a smartphone an e wallet is usually linked with the user's bank account to make payments such as utility bills mobile phone and dth connection recharge etc it can be used as a prepaid account in which a user can store money for future transactions it can also be used to store user personal information such as card number pin and shipping address etc it is also known as digital wallet it is a secure way of doing online transaction as you are not required to enter your card details there are many application which provide electronic wallets like paytm mobivic and free charge now the payment service provider Payment service provider are companies that facilitate e-commerce merchant in accepting and process, uh, processing electronic payments. It basically provides a secure portal for the transfer of funds. Payment can be made through the credit card, debit card or online banking. PayPal, Fast Charge and Secure Pay are the most popular example of the PSPs means payment service provider. Now the e-banking. E-banking stand for the electronic banking. In this it is the way of performing bank transaction using internet. A customer can do a number of things using e-banking, such as he can check the amount of his amount account, make FD, fixed deposit, transfer the money, apply for loans, pay bill, etc. These transactions can be done from any part of the world if you have an internet connection or on on your computer e-banking provide 24 by 7 services during all day of the month it saves times and helps the bank to reduce the cost of the transaction the step to perform e-banking are open the website of the bank enter your username and password do the appropriate transactions some site provide e-banking are www.statebankofindia.com www.pnbindia.com www.hdfcbank.com etc now e-ticketing what is e-ticketing e-ticketing means making a reservation or appointment of a service via the internet 
Using internet, we can not only check the availability of seat in bus, train and aircraft anytime but can also reserve room, meeting hall or table in restaurant. For these services, we can check the payable charge at the same moment and by making online payment through credit card. We can perf uh, confirm our reservations. For example, the Indian Railway has the official website www.irctc dot co dot in which is used for the e reservation process it includes services like checking availability booking and cancelling ticket printing e ticket etc so student that's all from today's class in next class we are going to discuss about the blogging and the podcast till then you have to revise the chapter you have to read it if you have any problem regarding this chapter you can ask me thank you and have a nice day.